Hey there, and welcome to Girl on the Third Floor 2019 Movie Review. And the director is Travis Stevens. He made such films as We Are Still Here in 2015, Starry Eyes in 2014, and Big Ass Spider in 2013. All movies I have not seen yet and will be given a watch very, very soon, especially Starry Eyes. Um, the actors in this film is Phil Brooks, also known as CM Punk from WWE and UFC. Uh, he plays Don Couch, uh, Koch. Uh, there are other actors in this, obviously, but uh, I didn't recognize them at all from any other films. Uh, I even tried to look to see where they're from, and they just... I don't know, they all seem to be from this one movie or have done other things other than movies. So I did not place them in here. And if you guys recognize some of the actors, and I obviously did not put them, uh, just let me know in the comments of where they were from, where they played in. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, the music score, well, it was okay. It wasn't the best, but it also wasn't the worst. Um, did it really help with the, the movie? Uh, no, not really. So they could have did a little better on that. What it's about? Well, here's a quick overview. Don Koch, he tries to renovate a rundown mansion with sordid history for his growing family, only to learn that the house has other plans. Uh, the movie starts off with the camera showing parts of the mansion and how rundown it looks. And I mean, it looks really bad, guys. Uh... Don Koch, CM Punk, he opens the front door, letting his dog in. The dog ends up running around uh, the house. He finds a a room that has, like, some kind of, like, vomit on the floor, it looks like, and he ends up looking at it. It's just, it's gross. Yeah, either way, he, uh, <clears throat> Don starts uh, bringing some stuff inside to start working on the place. After some time, he notices a moldy black spot on the wall on this wall in the living room type thing or a dining room. And uh, the the guy puts his fingers straight into it with no gloves, no nothing. And I have worked as a renovator before and you have to wear masks and gloves and whatnot. And he just, it was, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't, it was just gross again, <laughs> either way. After more time, he gets a visitor from across the street where a church is from and a woman comes by and he thinks it's a nun, but she happens to be the pastor of the church. And they talk for a bit about the building that he moved into. Uh, the next day he talks to his wife and tells her about the work he has to do and what he has done already. Um, from there, Don, Don gets back working on the mansion some more. Uh, he gets a buddy from, uh, one of his workplaces that he used to work to come and help him over the weekend. And some weird stuff happens there. Um, his friend mysteriously disappears. He thinks his friend left and went back to work. Um, which he did not. And uh, yeah, the movie just gets really crazy, guys. Uh, the more he tries to fix the place, the more it gets really messed up. The more it gets crazy. Um, all the while of this happening, a strange woman visits the house and then won't leave him alone. She keeps coming by day after day. And, uh, I can't say too much more without giving it away. So I'm not gonna. And, uh, what I liked about it, it was kind of a fresh idea for a movie. Like it had some similarities of some other movies I've seen, but it was from a while ago. So it's kind of a fresher, I guess feel to this movie and uh it, like i said it gets really crazy and it gets really insane guys you should check this one out would i recommend it like i said yes for sure check this one out guys it's on netflix if you have netflix check this out and uh here is the trailer enjoy guys So how's the house coming along? It's been hard. 
Certain places have personalities, and sometimes they're rotten. Hey, how's the little kicker doing? It takes a real strong hand to turn them around again. This house has a history of bringing out the worst in people.